need those cuffs that I put on the chair to hold him. Let me go! After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Spread your feet. I'm ready to go to sleep. What were you drinking? I just told her what I was like, four earthquakes. Yeah. Four locos? Two, uh, four locos. Uh, like two blunts and, uh, yes. Okay. Sorry. That's my daughter. How many kids do you have? Six. That's just one. What happened tonight? Fell me with a deadly weapon. Baby daddy? Yeah. Domestic violence with a deadly weapon. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, thanks, everyone. Take these cuffs off of you, okay? Go Can I ahead. do so? Put your hands up on the wall. I will do so. I appreciate that. I love this place. Wow, I never hear that. <laughs> Let's go get screened by medical. This row, all the way down drama. the very last chair. I love happy drugs. Stand up for me. What are you getting charged with tonight, do you know? Oh, I'm soliciting them. Soliciting? I haven't done it in three months. A new one or a bench warrant? Is that new why one. you're all done up with the makeup? Yeah. Yeah? Did you make any money tonight before they no, arrested you? They, no, they picked me up that quick. So you wasted all that makeup for nothing? Yeah, the first guy, the first guy I knew, and the second guy, I knew he was too, but he was kind of good. I knew he was so the police, did, yeah. so were they cute? So it doesn't matter if they're cute, I want the money. You just want the money, you don't care if they're cute? <laughs> Do you do any kind of drugs now? I've been out, I've been out crack for 12 months. Very good. Congratulations. Yeah. You feel better? Yes. Yeah. That's why I'm happy. <laughs> That's why you're happy. So you don't even care that you're in jail. Awesome. But right now, you need to have a seat until they call your name. We're not allowed to sit next to the boys in here. How'd you come in contact with we her? We picked her up on uh, Boulder Highway. She's, she's a regular. Okay. Um, and literally within seconds, I went up on her. She agreed to do uh, oral sex for 40 bucks. She actually said she pretty much knew you were a cop, but she decided to go ahead with it anyway because oh, okay. she needed some cash. Okay. So. <laughs> Hi. You want her now? Or? I'll take her right now. What happened to you tonight? My landlord attacked me. Your landlord did? And Have you been drinking tonight? Yeah. And they brought me in instead of him because he told me that that's the way it would go down if I called the police. Well, you're really emotional right now. I don't Because think I'm you're... tired of the way he treats me and talks to me and he throws away my food, Lord. throws away my fan. Uh-oh, yeah, we don't sorry. pound. <laughs> Are you suicidal, ma'am? No, I Listen. We're going to get through this, OK? Let's go talk to medical. Come on. No way. Because I'm worried about your head now. OK, Why? walk you this way. me, not yeah. him. I know, and we're concerned. She told us her roommate tried to choke her, although we didn't see any uh, evidence of that. And then her roommate also told us she started throwing punches, scratched his chest, which we observed. So therefore, we arrested Jane for domestic violence. All right, thank you. How are you guys doing? Great. We're happy. I'm trying to sober up. You're trying to sober up. Are you entertained in here? Yeah. Kathy, over here. What's wrong with your... Oh, don't run. No running in jail. Just stand. OK. Lewis! I want you to stand right here. So it looks like he charged you with soliciting, so there'll be no OR. You got to bail out, or are you going to stay here for the 48, 48 hours? hours. OK? All right, well, hey, you be careful out there. I will, thank you. Okay. All right, keep those pants up, girl. Not going to be earning any money out here. All right? <laughs> Belanta, let's sign for your stuff. OK, here's what you are here for. Mm -hmm. Battery domestic violence with a deadly weapon, $15,000 bill. No, daddy told my daddy beat me to the ground. He thought he was going to run. OK, you say daddy, you mean baby daddy? Yeah, kid's okay. daddy. That little girl right there. He thought he was going to run. Okay. I took a knife. <gasps> I did ninja. CSI. FBI, all them gang. Did he yeah. have to have a bunch of stitches? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he better have them. Don't put your hands <laughs> on me if you don't want to back. Now, where, where is he now? He's at home. You still with him? Nah. OK. Your friend's in there, Kathy. You'll be able to sit with her. I do? Yeah. Ah. 
your, your BFF, your new ah. friend. Okay, see this room? Sit up there with your friend. This way, this way, this way. Always go this way. You don't want to walk behind officers. They get a little nervous when you do that. Sometimes people come in here for simple charges and they get what's called an OR, that's release on your own recognizance. You know, and they could actually be out of here in four to six hours. Sometimes these people fight with the other inmates, they fight with us, their process stops. So six hours turns into 12 to 18 hours and it's all on them, it's just their behavior. They let him in the bar. We just had a female come in, she's a little intoxicated. I'm gonna step over and make sure she's behaving with medical. What are you getting charged with tonight, you know? You want to know what happened tonight? Yeah. I'm, I'm dying to know happened. what happened tonight. Okay. My ex-boyfriend. He's 18 years I'm old. I'm over it, and he, like, just keeps stalking me. I try to date other guys, but he'd be like, oh, threatening to kick their ass, and he'd, like, stalk me. Don't <laughs> hang out with him. I don't care how big, medium, small. Don't hang out with him. I don't talk to the guy. He just keeps stalking me. I can't help it if somebody walks into the bar and calls all your friends out and stalks you in the shadows of your house and moves into your house. Like, I can't help that. Perhaps you should quit hanging out at the bar until this is resolved. No, no. I go home and he's there, dude. Like, it's... We're trying to help you here. He waits in the shadows. So why don't you guys ever call the police and let them know there's a teenager hanging out in a bar that serves alcohol? I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill him. <laughs> no, don't say that. You just need him to go away. We're... He can do whatever he wants. Why? Because he knows a bunch of cops. He's, he's just crazy. He's a cop caller. Try like... to find him above 21. OK. So come with me. Sit right there. So is her story pretty accurate? No. Her yeah. boyfriend described her as a psycho ex-girlfriend that was mm -hmm. basically stalking him and supposedly shoved him, but there was no sign of any kind of injury. Okay. I went over and talked to her at another bar where she was seated with another guy, and she's got a bunch of warrants. So. OK, so the ex-boyfriend isn't stalking her. His ex? No, it's the other way around. The other way around. Yeah. She's stalking? She's stalking the ex-boyfriend. He's the stalky, she's the stalker. Boyfriend isn't stalking her. He's the stalky, she's the stalker. And is he really 18? She's saying he's 18. I don't think he is. No? Okay. He's definitely over 18. So the story's a little different, is it? Well, she just woke up. <laughs> right, she, she and slept. she's. It was a 43 mile ride from Indian Springs, so she just woke up. And she admitted to drinking tonight. So. Just a little. Just a little. All right, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the ex boyfriend's stalking you? Yeah! Or are you maybe following the ex boyfriend around? No. You're not? No. You're like, you have no idea. This guy is like out to ruin my life. Well, only you can you can stop him from that. No, I can't. Nobody Look at can just doing. ruin your nobody can just ruin your life. It's up to you. I wouldn't tolerate that if I was you. I would I would get out of there. The guy's psycho. Sounds like, he's like a it. psychopath. Have you ever tried to get a restraining order against no. Jerks? No. You know he you know he did. He lied and he called the cops and said I pushed him. Like who does that? Like everybody was there. Like nobody pushed you. He went to the bar and like called me out. Like I don't understand. I don't get it. So someone lies about you, calls the police, has you thrown in jail, yeah. but you still don't want to get a restraining order against him. Why? Because the sex is good. <laughs> she's a whore. She's called me a whore. Why would you do that over there? <laughs> Look sorry. at her. She's a whore. No. You're nothing. I just don't care. You're disgusting. I'm glad you feel that way. Ma'am, mind your own business, please? No, I wasn't talking to anybody. No, but you're making comments about our conversation. And no, it's not just about your guys' conversation. Me. No, about me. About myself. Myself. No, he's talking to you. Ignore her. All right. Stay away from the 18-year-old ex-boyfriend. I'm done. I have to go pee. OK, you got to go. The restroom's right over there. When you come back out, sit in the back, OK? Don't talk to any of the guys that are in here. And what's your story, miss? I got drunk tonight. I got in the car, and I drove. Where, I were, you, where were you drinking? My boyfriend's. Your boyfriend's? What what kind of alcohol did you guys have? I was drinking seven and seven. Seven and sevens? Do you have a few of them? Huh? Do you have a few of them? Yeah, about three or four. That's a lot. Did you hit a parked no. car? No. No, she pulled in this way and I pulled out that way and we kind of just... No. No? You passed up behind the wheel when you were making your right turn. The lady that was in that car was <laughs> stopped. Was that I'm a little out. stop? Yeah. Oh, that's not very that's nice. Not, that's not the right answer. Listen, we can't flip officers off. That's not very nice. Yeah. Sit here for a little while till they're ready for you. Sorry about that. Yeah, she was, she was out. When she first came in, she said, that oh, was just a little bump. Just a little no, bump. No, no, she tore the front left wheel off of her Mustang. Oh. It wasn't a little Was bump. anyone hurt in the accident? Um, no. The other no? driver didn't, okay. didn't complain of injuries, okay. but she was stopped at a stop sign, and mm -hmm. this lady came 
right turn around the corner too fast. And, and just, she, the, the other girl said she looked like she was passed up behind the wheel when she oh, did. Okay. And she just went corner to corner on the car. The Oxycontin she's on probably doesn't Oh, that so there's a little more going on. You know, there's always their story, and then there's the truth, which you guys tell me, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, well, thank you. I'm glad no one got hurt out there. Thank you. Janine, stand up for me. Okay, so we can't flip officers off. It just I can't happen. I was not happen. flipping him off. I really wasn't. Who were you flipping off? It was just off? the whole attitude thing. His I was attitude. flipping off the attitude thing. But then you were yeah, he flipping said, him. No, he said you stopped and you were passed out. And I said, no, I wasn't. That's and I flipped off. Do you off. think maybe he remembers a little more accurately than you because he hasn't had three or four seven and sevens tonight? He wasn't getting in your face or anything. He was just telling you the facts as he saw them. Oh, no. I don't, like I said, I wasn't flipping him off. All right, let's go sit down. Thank you. Officer Citray? Yes. The girl that came in earlier for domestic violence was kind of angry. She came out here, didn't last very long, started making all these demands. So put her in a side cell since oh, she I was so that. angry. Yeah. I'm just going to go back to the side cell okay. and see what all she's right. doing. Jane, why'd they bring you in here? My landlord attacked me, and they brought me in here instead of him. And I'm the one that called 911. He's an alcoholic. Were you drinking? You told me drink. You told me earlier that you were. I had a drink, but yeah. I mean, I wasn't drinking. Right. I don't drink. Well, if you have domestic violence, you're going to be here for a minimum of 12 hours, and you'll be out of here probably within 48 hours. I can't. I have a doctor's treatment you on can Tuesday post bail. I have to go to. I'm not going to tell you you're going to be out of here in a few hours, because you're not. OK? <sighs> I'm not trying to. What was that, Jane? That was very dramatic of you. Jane, is there any more questions you have for me? I can see that your eyes are open. Do you need me to call anybody for you? See, that's yeah, all you I needed to ask. Go to the hospital. What for? Because my injury. What injury? You guys aren't going to do anything for it. I didn't know about an injury. What's wrong? Do you seem to be OK? I had a stroke. You go to the hospital, and a year here longer. It doesn't make it go any faster. You still have to come back here and do your time. What I need you to do is sober up. I am not drunk! This is your personality all the time? I'm not drunk! I'm Jane, pissed! You're okay. keeping me You're not listening to me. You're talking over me. I'm trying to tell you how to get out of here, but you're not listening to me, so I can't help you then. Until you can calm down and listen. Yeah, I have to lay here and sober up. Good luck to you, Jane. I know she's just up and down, and it's hard for me to be able to spend all my time paying attention to her when I've got a room full of other people that have issues as well. Let's just better get her out of that area, bring her back here so she can be more closely monitored, and hopefully she'll sober up soon. Chanel? OK, you're here on three charges. Two charges of disorderly conduct that are in warrant, and one DUI bench warrant. If I don't have the money, it's like 25 days in jail. It's probably good for you. You won't be able to go to your little bar for 25 days. Just think about it this way. That 18-year-old stalker can't bother you while I you're know, here in jail. I know. That's totally true. Like, uh, like, what is he doing now with himself? You know, he well, has to have somebody to Ross. <laughs> don't worry about what he's doing. You got to get your ducks in a row, girl. You might as well get it straightened out now. All right? Calm down. He'll be OK. So Janelle's kind of having a bad night. It sounds kind of like a repetitive cycle with her. She likes to hang out at this bar with her friends and doesn't want to put a restraining order against this boyfriend that's allegedly stalking her. Who knows what's really true? She's got herself into a situation only she can get herself out. Central Booking Bureau. One of the things I like to do when they come in is assess what the person's acting like, uh, if they're hostile, loud, if they're extremely quiet on the other aspect, so we can determine how the person's going to act once they're out of cuffs and in our custody. Here you go. Hand on your head. There you go. Let's tell me what to do, bro. You're the boss, bro. What do you want me to do? So what did you take this morning? Huh? What was it that you took this morning? What? At one time. Four hours ago, and I'm like, <laughs> sober down here already. You do seem a lot better than you did a couple hours ago, right? right my heart, did my heart's cool, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking a lot still. 
pull It's sort of hard to pull my pants up when I'm in handcuffs, ma'am. There you go. Focus. Sit in the second row, okay? Is that restroom? Yeah. Restroom. Yep, there it is. Men's and women's. Knock first. Make sure there's not somebody already in there. Knock first. All right. All right. So this guy came in this morning. He was uh, really, really intoxicated on some type of drug. He said he did a bunch of GHB and 10 ecstasy pills uh, so the police wouldn't get him on it. We sent him out to the hospital. I had UMC clear him. Now he's back and getting booked in. What's up? Some food? 10 o'clock, which we're at 9.30 now. 10 o'clock's coming. We're going to get you a nice happy meal. Uh, I mean happy, happy meals. meal. I love happy I don't meals. mean happy meal from the store. I'm saying our, our meals. I like that. will make you happy. And we're going to get a juice, probably some orange juice or something well, like I that, mean, orange drink. Happy meals and a happy bed. Not, not, be real happy. not going to get a bed. All I ate was a bunch of pills of ecstasy. Right. And it's out of my system. I need some food and water. What Bail. were you doing last night that got this all going? That's a long story, dude. My employee's trying to kick my ass in the wind parking lot. I mean, right, I true. see no cops there, I'm going to jail. OK, and they saw the altercation and chose to bring you to jail instead of the other one? And did yeah, that's up. Uh, bring you because of the fighting or just because of the drugs itself? I don't know. We'll see what you got booked on, and we'll go from there. Thanks. All right, man. 49, 49, eight, Cal Carter, Ohio. pressure, from your right leg, DVT. Anything else? And stupid pill, don't forget that. <laughs> if you think of anything else, you're going to get a full screening in the next room, so they can. Uh, well, I look like Don Rickles. Maybe that's why they want. You to... actually do a little bit. I'll oh, be know. honest with you. Yeah, you probably I've seen heard that show before, he, huh? He called me on the stage years ago. Years ago. Uh, yeah. Introduced me as his, his uh, ugly step cousin, the result of inbreeding. Wow. Do me a favor. Come sit right here in this. Uh, First chair and just relax for a minute, and we'll be with you in a couple of minutes and get to the next step, all right? He's a 72-year-old gentleman who was remanded for possession of controlled substance with intent to sell. Appears he had bags of marijuana in his car that he was selling to supplement his Social Security. All right. You about ready for this process? Yeah, I'm going to be a star. Yeah. Well, go ahead and stand up. I'm going to take you in the other room here and oh, okay. get the next process going here. And uh, you told the nurse most of the things that you had going on. Everybody's done. Oh, yeah. Right, well, why not? Well, well, you're not here to suffer. We're trying to trying to get you through. There you go. Turn to your right. OK. Turn this right. Turn right. This right. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Like you about 30 years younger. So uh, me and him are going to be twins in 30 years? He could be your dad. Right. Dad's a foot taller and 100 pounds heavier. <laughs> Anyway, let's go over your paperwork. They have the charge down, okay, as a temp position of controlled substance with the intent to sell. That's the marijuana, That's okay? That's the one that we just did, yeah. That's the one you just did, okay? Oh, my God. Come on, you don't like that? That's a good picture. I look old. When I got my driver's license, a young girl says, oh, this came out nice. I says, are you kidding? I look old. And she looks at us, it's 1938, and goes, hello, you are old. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, See? Pocket, right? That's right. Got your copy in your pocket? Got it right here. All right. You remember the rules from last year when you were here? Oh, yeah. OK. Come on out here. Don't flirt with the girls. I know you're a flirt. Um, so just be polite and nice. You're going to be on the mal side, OK? Raise your hand if you need anything. Gotcha. Then make sure you talk to the nurse and tell her about your medications and stuff again if you need anything. Hey, listen, first four rows over there, OK? okay. Thank you. All right, you're welcome, sir. You don't see 72-year-olds uh, every day talking about how they were arrested at the mall for selling marijuana to the kids. Uh, just trying to supplement his income, and um, he got caught. But nice guy, fun to talk to. I wish they'd all come in like that. All right, Joel, let's get you out of these cups. Bring your tray. He's going to take that from you. Hang on to that for a second. This is what you got. Trafficking and Control Substance Schedule 1 uh, GHB. OK, that's a $10,000 um, bail and a felony. OK, of course. Uh, possession of marijuana. OK, $3,000, also a felony charge. And then yeah, really uh, the ecstasy as well. Oh. Yeah, we talked about the smell of that weed. Yeah. Uh, pretty obvious it was weed without even testing it, but we did test it, all right? Possession of controlled substance ecstasy, um, also a felony, $3,000 on that charge. And uh, destroying evidence, you eating 10 of the ecstasy becomes destroying I evidence. I would have not tried to eat You them. knew. You told no, me no, you knew. No, you said I did it because the cop didn't get it. In Colorado, I would have got away with eating it. All right. Well, it's a gross misdemeanor. The least serious charge you have, OK? I need to sign here and sign there. So what did you think of the food? Three felonies? Was it as good as a Happy Meal? Did it make you happy? Oh, I don't care about that. I'm more concerned with the three felonies I got. 
Come on out here, I want to explain the rules to you. So you're going to sit up here on the male side, first four or five rows, raise your hand if you need anything. Do you want to finish your food? Of course. OK. There's a water fountain in the front of the room. OK. So phone, water fountain. I've been to jail pretty easy. Before. Yeah, it's pretty easy. So any other thing? All right, try to be nice, be polite, be respectful. You'll get the same treatment. Go ahead. First three, four rows over. Hit, take a copy of your charges so you know what you get booked in on. All right, good luck to you, Joel. Joel still thinks he's in Colorado, but he came to Vegas two days ago. Hopefully, he'll come down off the drugs and realize where he's at and get himself uh, bailed out of jail here soon. come in here that are combative, it's necessary to isolate them for a period of time. It's when we check on them later that their personalities are much more compliant. Usually it just takes that cooling down period for them to understand what's going on and realize it's not getting them anywhere. What are we doing with my mom? Never your live mom. with your mother. Mm. So you're supposed to have mom move in with you. You know, my husband died, and um, so I moved in with mom. Removing the cuff? Yes, ma'am. So anyway, so... Your husband, your mother. Oh, she's wonderful, but um, yeah, you're just moving in with your mom at 44 is a bad idea. I don't care who dies. <laughs> Why? Because then you can't date again, or what? No, because you know, at, when you're 44 years old, you just you're an adult. Does your mom still tell you what to do? Yes. <laughs> yes. Clean your room. Two you're the always gonna Go be her room. baby. Why are you here tonight? Does she know you went to jail? She's the one who called the police. Oh, what happened? Oh, what happened? I bought a, a, um, a Neon today. I bought a, and I was going to move Bought a new out. car? Yeah. Okay, and relax. So I was going to move out. So then you guys got an argument, I'm yeah. assuming. You know, it's mom, you know? And it's like she might be looking out for my best interest, but we don't necessarily agree. We're just bumping heads. So it got into, a, it got escalated. It got into a bigger verbal argument. It's... You didn't touch her, though, right? Of course not. Of course not. Who no. called it in? My mother called it in because we oh, call mediators sorry, to that. come over to mediate. You know, it wasn't like supposed to be this or that. I'm here because of failure to register for being a felon. You're a felon? Uh, from seven years ago. Does your mom know about that too? No, no, I hid that really well. On you did, car. really? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's up with the bat, bat tattoo? It's, I'm from Las Vegas. Oh, well, okay, so what's up with the bat tattoo? Do I not get it? Because I'm yeah. from Vegas. If you're going to ask about something, you should ask about the skeletal pirate kitty. Well, I didn't see that. Actually, yeah, I think that's really very, cool. It's very, very heavy-handed. Anyway, all right, dear. Go ahead and go to this row, all the way down the very last chair, and you can go see medical. Thank you. One more time, this one? This row right there, dear. Officer, could you tell me about the female you just brought in? Yes, uh, her mom called on her, because I guess she was being uh, belligerent because she's high on methamphetamine, is what she told us. So we went down there, and before you, I even got to knock on the door, she opened it quick, like, and was, like, outside the door. I was like, oh, this girl is high on something. So I started talking to her, and she was just out of it, answering questions that we weren't asking, you know, so we ran her, and she's an ex-found who has been registered at the new address, so. So that's the charge she's going to have? Yep. Thank you. It looks like that she got an OR, so you know, she'll be out of here in a few hours, like she was wondering about. What was her charges? Uh, it was a uh, failure to register. Oh, okay. Convicted felon. How long am I going to be here? Let's get you through the process, all right? I don't think you're going to be here that long at all. I have to go back to mom's. Yeah, well, yeah, you're going to have to go back to mom's, but. How long can I no, stay? No, what are the fists for? I'm thinking I need at least like a three day vacation. Okay, you can stay here three days. The only thing that you can compare it to, which is not a fair comparison, is like a domestically bad relationship. Get out, but don't go. <laughs> Get out, but you can't leave. Was your mom there when the officers came and put you in handcuffs? Was she right there? <laughs> Actually, you know, at that point, we had gone into the living room, sat down in chairs, and were being lectured by the police officers on how to act like grown women. Then the next thing I know, it's like you're walking out the door, and I can just picture her sitting there, and it's not going to hit her for about two hours that I'm up there. She start crying. My charge is um, failure to register as a felon. How did you acquire that charge? from not registering as a felon. I, I understand that. that. Why are you a felon? Why are you a felon? Committing a felony? No. All right. Check in with you a little bit, OK? OK. All right. What's the first name? Nicole. Of course her name's Nicole. All hookers are named Nicole. It's weird. But anyway, so what time did you start working at? I don't even know. 
And you made only a hundred uh, under a hundred dollars. That's I got terrible. Well, how many jobs did you do to get $100? Two jobs? It's very expensive oral sex. Yes, it is. You must just be very good. good at it. All right. Third row, all the way down the very end. She said she's been out there all day, and she made under 100 bucks. Man, it was hot today, too. Look at it, Janice. Come on over here. Okay, just put your back up against this wall right here. All right, it's just the misdemeanor, so we're gonna be out of here in probably about six hours. Thanks for having me in jail for six hours. Thank hey, thanks like for visiting. Days. Don't yeah, come no back. Problem. I won't, I'll oh. try hard. All right, now that we understand each other. Okay, in this room, while you're in here, listen for your name to be called. Mm -hmm. If you need anything, just raise your hand, ask the officer for permission first. First row with the other females. I'm looking <laughs> at both sides, I can't tell the difference. Between men and women? Look at the... I know. Uh, she's got a funny personality. She'll get out of here. Hopefully, uh, she'll finish whatever she was doing if she was going to move out because it's not working out very well with her living at home with her mother. come in here and they're pretty much cooperative with us. They come in, they talk to us, they tell us why they're here. And just out of the blue, sometimes people just snap. They just lose their tempers and they, they will not reason with us. It kind of makes you realize why they're actually here. What are you charged with, you know? Uh, breaking and entering. Breaking and entering. Burglary or whatever. I'm here for Sam, my daughter. That's why I'm here. This has something to do with your daughter? Yeah. So it was maybe a domestic situation? Yeah. OK. And she's not coming in, right? No, she's already held. You mean she's already here in this jail? Yeah. She is? Yeah. OK. So let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. If you're here on a domestic situation involving her, how could that be if she's already here? Uh, grandma set her up, and I f***ed up Grandma's house. It's grandma meaning your mother? Nope, my mother-in-law. Your mother-in-law, OK. And what about drinking? Yep, every day, all day long, as, as long as I can. What do you drink? Uh, something hard. All right. OK, I'm going to send you down to medical to be screened, all right? OK. Come on over here. All the way down, sit in the last chair for me, OK? You got it. What happened tonight? She broke into her ex-mother-in-law's uh, house, broke a couple windows, went through, tore some furniture apart, and tipped over some cabinets. Her daughter is currently in custody here. Did yeah, you tell you guys that? it's going to be a family reunion. Yeah, that's what I. As uh, grandma actually turned her in for, um, she was stealing her stuff. The daughter. The daughter. OK. All right, thanks, guys. Right, no problem. How old is your daughter? 19. 19 years old. What's going on with her? Is she waiting grandma on court? Up. She's a lying sack of poop. When I found out that grandma's pressing charges, I went to go visit grandma. So when you get out of here, what grandma you better move. Ah, oh, Tiffany, you're going to get yourself in worse trouble. I hope you think about that while you're here. Grandma. Maybe change your mind. 20 years of and she put my baby in jail. And she better move. But you're That's making it I'm worse. Saying. You're making it worse on nope. yourself. I feel a lot better, actually. <laughs> OK. Well, calm down. I don't want to upset you anymore. What's your name? Officer Joyner. There you go. Where's your okay. water? Come here, Red. Red, OK, Red, go get your water. She's really angry right now. Hopefully, the couple days that she'll spend in jail, she'll calm down a little bit and see things a little more clear. Look at them. We just thought we'd come and visit. Hi, guys. They got me for sitting under a palm tree drinking a beer. <laughs> sitting under a palm tree drinking a beer? <laughs> Why are you guys so loud? Go on down here, have a seat next to those gentlemen. Down yes, sir. Down. What are you guys drinking tonight? Just beer. Beer. Beers. Beers. And vodka. And vodka. What time did you start that? This morning? morning about 3 o'clock. 3 in the morning or 3 in the afternoon? Um, morning. Do you know what time it is now? No, ma'am. No? Do you care? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're close. But we took a nap. You took a nap and then you got arrested? Yeah. Got a seat I don't like him, though. Just for a little bit. You guys will get a nap. And you know you'll get a nap no, in a little while. I'm going to leave it on you for now. Go ahead huh? and have a seat. OK. Paperwork. 
These guys came in on our transport unit. They're a little loud and rowdy. They've been drinking out in the hot sun all day long, so I'm not quite sure how long we're going to be able to leave them out here because people can't get their jobs done when, when all you hear is these three. OK, guys, we're going to have a deal, right? We're not going to be real loud, so we can get you processed through, get you out of here, find out your charges. Yeah, I just want to know my charge. Yeah, okay. I don't even know. You guys drink water or just beer? I drink my beer on ice that way. So the ice melts and that's how you get your water? That way you get your water with it. What about just I a bottle? That. That's my stepbrother. Your stepbrother? Really? Or you just call each other stepbrother? Well, that's my stepbrother. He's my He's my dysfunction. OK. All right. Hey, um, Mr. Get Me a Beer, I think they're, they're ready to screen you over there. And you can slide down so that you'll be next. Make sure you, wow, you guys are happy. Yeah. You know what? God gave me a heart and a smile, and I can't get rid of either one of them. Let me tell you one thing, though, OK? So. Listen, I'm right here, so we don't need to yell, OK? Oh, OK. Just yeah. talk normal to me. Don't no talk problem. normal, OK? Oh, he likes the chair. Can I have the chair? Have you ever been in the chair before? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever been in the chair? Z like it what? Oh, I always oh, want the chair, but they won't give it to me. I sleep better in that chair. You sleep better in that chair? They were arrested, brought in. It sounds like it's going to be trespassing. They are noisy, but they're not angry. So at this point, we're not going to. Please, put away from here so I can do my work. All right, guys, we're going to take you guys all down to a cell, okay? Yes, All right. Ready? Yes, take all three and get them out of here. All right, let's go. I know where we're going. You know? We're, 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 we're not going to the drugs. Take them out of bellies? Yes. Okay. You guys come on, stand right here. Do you guys know how loud you are? No. Okay. Step in. Oh. Your turn. Be quiet. I'm done listening to you guys. Put your hand on top of your head. These guys are having a hard time quieting down. Their paperwork yeah. will be delayed. So they're going to. I got it. Make sure they can see my medical before we're going to detox. Yeah. Just need you guys to calm down a little bit, quiet down. We'll get your paperwork. We'll get you out of here, OK? They are funny guys. They're just too loud. They need to drink some water and take a nap. A lot of people come to Las Vegas uh, for several different reasons, mostly to have a good time. But they break the law, they come to jail, and we expect them to follow all of our rules. Nobody's special here. A lot of them come in, maybe they know somebody or they feel they're special, but everybody gets treated the same when they walk in that door. Face the wall. Imagine you're gonna be so bad. Listen to what we're telling you. All right. I'm gonna be so bad. Okay, face the wall. Then you can go to the bathroom. Okay. Why'd you get arrested? I didn't even know. You don't even know why you, what you were doing wrong? You just got too drunk last night or what? Um, probably. OK, so then why are you acting fine. like this? Because they're going to pee okay. so well, bad. What, you keep moving around. Yeah. Spread your feet. Fine, where are you going? It's not going to be happy about it. You have I'm sorry. Okay. You know what? You should have followed directions. Okay. No, you didn't. Move here. Straight down that way. Blood draw. Oh. Come on, let's go get this. Okay. Oh, yeah. Have a seat over here. Let me see this in. We're going to do a blood draw, okay? Don't move your arm, okay? He was uh, observed by officers uh, operating a motor vehicle of high rate of speed, ran a red light, swerving all over the place. I conducted a field sobriety test, which uh, he failed miserably. He was cooperating with the uh, field sobriety test, then, uh, you know, I just guess alcohol takes over, you know? I feel like a criminal for a DUI. There's so many people oh, out man. here. There's so many out people out there. So many people are like, here I am. Yes, you are. For a DUI. Yep. Right? You're right. Thank you. Stand up for me. All right, good deal. You. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, sir. Come on this way. I'm going to stick here like to the one You're a fat bastard, right? Sorry. Can I call you fat? Can I call you a fat? Call me whatever you yeah. want. Fat. Don't move. I'm a sir. You're a fat cow. Thank you, sir. Do some exercise. Right? Do some exercise. Because your heart is 
beating for it. Thank you. You're a fat cow, right? Oh, man. I'm going to leave him in there until he calms down. Obviously, he's still there, so. He's healthy, you Almost code of five, but not really. Uh, well, no. Go ahead. Hold on. Relax. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's all right. Relax, guy. He was he was moving around quite a bit in the back seat. His cuffs are code four, but I think he's high on something. Okay. You all right? What's going on? I'm drunk. You're drunk? Okay. What's your last name, sir? I'm trying to help you. What's that? I'm trying to help you. Okay. Yeah. Don't be moving around so much. Oh man. Is that cool? Slide your shirt on then. No problem, man. Anytime. Where are you from? Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe? What part of Eastern Europe? Eastern Europe. How much did you have to drink, sir? A lot. A lot? A lot? Oh, okay. Country, man. Right here. Dude, get lost, dude. What the? Dude, look at this. Let's bring him up. He's having like drop. involuntary yeah. movements. He won't yeah. step in. Wow. I need those cuffs that I put on the chair to hold him. Let me go! What the hell? Yeah, I know. Oh. Come on, don't fight anymore. Okay? I'm not fighting. Just back. lose the. Sit down. Ah, I'm not doing anything. Grab a spit mask. You ready? Oh, Try to let him sit out there. He started trying to pull himself out of his belly chains. All right. He's moving around, we decided to bring him over here, switch him into handcuffs. Started to resist, tense his body up, started pushing his body back. I decided to take him to the ground. We put him to the ground, put him in handcuffs, put him in a stretcher. I'm you... drunk. Oh, you're drunk? Of course I am. OK. I was drunk from the beginning. OK. What are you expecting from a drunk guy? That's a good point. The way to get out of this chair, just try to calm down. So what happened out there with this guy? We went to a fight call, mm -hmm. and there was about eight subjects inside the apartment, and he was one of them. While he was sitting on the floor, he just would not stay still. So finally, we cuffed him up. We did a records check on him, and he came up with uh, multiple traffic warrants at about $1,500. So we took him outside to the patrol car. Once we put him inside the car, he just would not stop moving. We'll keep an eye on him, see if he cools down a little bit, and hopefully we can get him out of the chair. So. Right. Face the back wall for me. Spread your feet up for me. How we feeling now? I'm gonna pee. Attitude was a little bit better. I am so done. Are you done? Yes. You sure? Yes. We were talking a lot earlier. Okay? I know. All right. It doesn't help it your cause. My alcohol. I'm I know sorry. it's your alcohol. You yeah. sobered up a little bit. I'm so sober. Yeah. I'm gonna take this. I am this so off. sorry. Listen. I am so sorry. This is the alcohol. So usually when you drink, that's the way you act, talking uh, a lot of smack. Yeah, I, I, I'm part of a, of a show here in Vegas. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. Like, oh my god, I was so sorry. Come on this way. Look at me when I'm trying to take her. I'm going to sit you in the back, OK? Don't put your hands on the officers in here, OK? Have a seat in the back row. Listen up for your name. Remember, if you need anything, raise your hand, OK? All right, good luck to you. Still a little loud, but he's able to come out. He's not really talking a lot to us anymore. He's just a little excited. We'll see if he can make it. I'm going to go talk to Alexandra. He's been in a side cell for a little bit. See if he's ready to come out, get through the process. OK. Alexandra, how are we feeling now, man? A mm -hmm. little bit better? You remember coming in here? We tried to talk to you a little bit. After you guys did to me, I'll be quiet. I'll do whatever you well, say. Well, what we do to you is we react to whatever the inmates are doing. We're going to get you out there, see if you can get through the process, OK? <clears throat> you got to take your little toilet paper shoes off, though, OK? Take those off for me. We'll get you some sandals, OK? Take it out of your shirt, too, OK? While you're out there, don't cause any disruptions, okay? 
or else we go right back to handcuffs and we go back. Okay, let's try to go forward now. Get your arms through your shirt too, okay? It's a little bit more right there. All right, buddy, go ahead and stand up. I'm gonna have you sit down first, then raise your hand and get some permission, okay? Go to the right. To the right this way. Straight ahead. Okay, have a seat right here. Okay, if you need anything, raise your hand, okay? Get permission before you do anything, all right? All right, good luck to you. Looks like Alexandre is gonna try to make it out here. He's calmed down a lot since he first came in here. He was very loud, moving around a lot, so. We're gonna try him out here, see if he can follow the rules and get through the process. Uh, he's been pretty quiet, so. All right, we'll see. Individual came in code five. He said he would comply with our orders. Just gonna walk in for us. As long as he follows instructions, he'll just get through the process like everybody else. What kind of bracelet is that? House arrest. House arrest, you're in house arrest? Are you sitting at home? Just you, or was there another person with you? Me, my wife, my niece, and my ex-girlfriend. Whoa. It's not a good conversation. They get into a fight. I break them up. And you get brought to jail. She's got a knot the size of your head. Of my head? So it must mm. be pretty big. Yeah, fighting with my ex-girlfriend. Ah. They're both in love Talk with me. And that's what they brought you in for? My wife said I hit her uh, because she got mad because the ex-girlfriend came. This has been going on for some time. Go ahead and put your pants on. I could have cut the bracelet and ran. I remember. We're going to go talk to medical, OK? All the way down the third row. I'm 52 years old. I can teach you a lot. I'm sure you could. I'm Tony. Heard that name before? Yeah. No, you have. I'm somebody. Come on this way, sir. Let's have a seat for me, and they'll be calling your name in a minute, all right? All right, man. Good luck to you. What happened with him out there? His wife and his ex-girlfriend his ex were there? All right, apparently his ex-girlfriend came over, and his wife found out he was still messing around with his ex-girlfriend. So it all stemmed from that. She had a big knot in the side of her head from when he punched her. So he was arrested for a bad TV third, which is a felony. Then on the way to jail, he started threatening when the cuffs come off, he was going to fight. And ladies, ladies, quiet down. Can I talk to you? Sit down. Sit down. W-R. OK, now stand up. Come on. You want to pay attention to simple directions of sitting down. I have 50 people out there. I can't deal with you. Step on in. We'll come back and check on you. We'll start following procedures. Yeah, there, don't move. Don't close. OK, same. No se mueva. This is what happened. I'm trying to deal with something else. And, and he just stands up. I said, sir, you need to sit down. Sir, you need to sit down. Went over and over again. And then too many people I got to deal with. And uh, so we just, we'll leave him in here. See if he'll start cooling down a little bit. All right, cool. All right, good job. When an individual first enter the building, it's pre-arrest. Pre-arrest basically sets the tone. We explain to the individual how the facility works, what the rules and regulations are. And I believe that's why pre-arrest is one of the critical areas. Wait until somebody speaks to you. Pay attention and follow her. I do. Spread your feet, sir. Have uh, you been here before? No. What was your last name? I've never been in jail before. OK, but what is your name? Michael. Oh, Janet Tapia. So why did they arrest you, sir? I got arrested for mm -hmm. driving under the influence. OK. But then ask your officer why he arrested me, because I'm not under the influence. No? OK. I'm under the pissed influence, yeah. All right, this is what I want you to do. Follow instructions. OK. It's not a game, dude. I know. It's not a game I would I don't want to be here. Tell me where I need to go. You're going to go down, you're going to talk to medical. All the way down, sit down, follow instructions. Graveyard had stopped him for a DUI. Dispatch asked if I could transport. So I went to the front of the station. He was in the back of the car, but they had to call medical out because he was feeling like he was going to throw up. Medical got there, and he was uncooperative and disrespectful the whole time. So I brought him here, and hopefully he comes down, and he'll be able to get through the next couple hours. Hi. Hi. 
So you've never been here before? Never been in jail before, and I'm really scared because I don't know who these people are. How many drinks did you have last night? I had two. Two, that's it? Mm -hmm. Two really big ones? Two regular ones. Is that a hater mark on your neck, or is that a bruise? Um, let's just say I'm really popular. Am I going to be in, like, a jail with, like, a lot of, like, ghetto you're, people? You're in jail. Am I going to be with these people? Uh, Are they going to, like, rape me or anything? Am I going to, like, I'm, a, I'm scared. Like, I'm really scared. Yeah. I told Melanie, the officer, and she told me not to call her Melanie, so I was, like, I'm, like, scared. I don't want, like, these guys to, like, rape me, and I don't want to become, like, pregnant when I come out of jail or anything. Unless you have a uterus, I don't think you're getting pregnant. Okay, perfect. Okay. That's all that matters. <laughs> I'm not a slut, I promise. <laughs> All right, I want you to sit right there in the very first seat. Okay. And then I'm gonna Is that Mexican in. guy gonna bother me? No, he's not Mexican. It's really either. scary. He's not Mexican either. He's not. No? Oh, sorry, can I have a um, tissue? Go in the bathroom. I don't wanna go to the bathroom, there's someone in there. Okay, then wait till they come out. May I have a tissue, please? So please what's it? what's the problem here? Uh -huh. Public bathroom, sir. Officer Gothic, I can't let me know my chain here. Okay. okay. You have to find a way. Officer Gossler. Officer Gothic. Come here, brother. Come here. Place the wall right here. Oh, oh, oh. It's gonna go downhill like I told you earlier, okay? I was very polite, okay? I explained things to you three or four times. Okay? I told you what's gonna happen, okay? Okay, if I say that, I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be good. No, I, I don't think you're actually... It's time to be quiet now. Ew, this you want it? is dirty. Listen, if you continue to be <laughs> disruptive... But I'm bored out there. What am I gonna do? You're gonna like, sit in there like everybody else. That's boring. No one wants to well, do that. Well, sir, you know what? That's your choice, man. Are you at home? Okay. Strike one. Okay? okay. That's all I got to say, man. Okay. See what happens when it happens when you continue your behavior. Okay? Oh, wait, wait, wait. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Don't sit next to that guy. All right, Sarge, this guy's out here just being disruptive. I pull him over to the side and I try to talk to him. He wants attention, obviously, but I think he's just really, really scared. So. Okay. Let's just deal with him for now. If he continues to cause a disruption, we'll get him out of there. Okay. For people that have never been here before, the experience can be quite different. They never know that person that they sit down next to. They could be a CEO of a company that's here for DUI, or they could be someone who's a three-time felon here for assault and battery. So you're, wow, what's that? Some chonies and uh, some work missing. Why you got panties in your pocket, dude? Are those ladies' panties? Just don't throw them away. It's like a trophy. Messing around with a lady? Yeah, kind of sorry. Maybe. You kept her panties for evidence. No, I need to get them out of my ex-wife's house. Before, before she <laughs> caught you? Is that what you guys were fighting about, maybe? No, 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 no. So who did the chonies belong to? I have to uh, change the names to protect the innocent. <laughs> what kind of case do they have on you that you're so mad? Just a little battery for beating up my roommate for trying to protect myself. He made a big mess, and Tom cleaned up his mess, and he came after me, so I had to defend myself. Just a little battery. Battery? No worries. Here's what happened. Today, um, my ex-wife gets in the house with her boyfriend, tells her to move out, and the Henderson police come and they check me, they run me, everything's cool and dandy. Mm -hmm. They tell me to roll on, so I roll on. My ex-wife got irate with me. I got stupid and told her to split, and my sister-in-law thought we were fighting and uh, called Petro, and they came and got me. And so supposedly I got. Bench warrant for Bench something warrant, yeah. for the battery, maybe. For battery for beating up my roommate. That was a slob. That was a slob. A big so, slob. So you're a ladies' man. That's what you're trying. Basically, no. the whole gist of the story is you're no. a ladies' man. Not really. I just play my cards right. Okay. You need to go see medical, right? You know how to do that? Yeah. Okay. Go down there. Go down there.
We responded to a domestic battery call. Mm -hmm. Records check revealed that the gentleman had a warrant for battery. Okay, that's pretty much what he told us. He had a pair of um, ladies' underwear in his pocket. So he's kind of laughing when I ask him about that. Yeah. Well, we have his underwear nice and safe. We'll keep it safe till he gets out of jail. Sounds good. I'm gonna go down here and talk to Tony again. It's been a small time since the last time I talked to him. See if he's still a little agitated. Hopefully he's not. Tony, how are we feeling now? They're gonna charge me with a felony? It's a domestic violence. For what? You have to explain that to the judge. I don't know. The the officer what, like I keep trying to tell you, I'm the victim. Mm -hmm. They never go to jail. I always go to jail. Why is that? OK. You go to jail look at, look. and you explain I, that. Okay? I, I, all I, I had a glass in my hand. OK, I'll come back I and talk to you in a little bit. Phone It'll like be in that. a short time. He's still a little bit upset. Going to leave him in there. Hopefully, he calms down enough so we can get him upstairs and get through the process. So are you trying to get another pair of panties from that girl that just came in? I heard you kind of making a little few comments to her. I thought she was just some hot young biscuit. Hot young biscuit, OK. Try to be respectful to the females that are in here, OK? Oh, I don't even talk to them because I know I get in trouble. OK. All right, stand up here. She's a pretty girl, but she ain't for me. OK. What kind of girl do you like? I like smart, educated girls that got good jobs. Kenneth likes the kind of girls that wear black panties. And wear black panties. You have a battery. Your bail is $1,000. When's the last time you were here? Um, about four years ago, three okay, years so, ago. So things have probably changed. I stay on that side and don't talk to women. Yeah, right slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. So you're going to go grab a seat up there in the first three rows. All right. Don't uh, talk. Join her? Yes. Have a good night. You too. Bye, Kenneth. Good luck. He'll sit out here. He's doing just fine. He's got a pretty good attitude. I think he's hoping the judge might just let him go on his warrant with a return court date. Let's see what happens. Officer Gossler. You're what I just said, right? Face the front. Right. How about be quiet? No, like my arm. My arm. What's going on? Stand up. My arm hurts. We're just gonna talk. Um, he was sitting next to you. I was trying to pray, and he was like making loud noise, yelling over me, and mm -hmm. calling the officer. Oh, this is that complaining about everything. So just causing a disruption, just being yeah. disruptive, not going so, through the yeah, process. That was a problem. So I got mad, you know. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, good thing I went out there because you know it looked like you were about to hit him, so and it could have cost you another charge. Yeah, so just thank because you. he was being mouthy, so. Appreciate okay, man. All right. All right, just All have right, a seat out you. there. Thank, thank you, man. Okay. Spread your feet. Enjoy. Stop being mean to me. I mean, seriously, you're being mean to me, and like you're the one that I can't. Actually, you know what? I'm being very nice. Look, while well, we were walking out there, another inmate was standing over him. Supposedly, this inmate said something to him. It's about to cause physical harm to him, so we're gonna get him out of this situation. Melanie. You guys have your work cut out for you tonight. Sharp on you? No. Stand no. still. Are you drunk tonight? No, I'm not drunk. Everywhere Stand I go. Stand still. Get over it. Stand still. You get over it. Spread your feet out. Actually, step over here then. Right on the wall. Spread your feet. Oh. Bitch. I don't know why you here you either. Me again. Right? You shouldn't have a job. I shouldn't. Not the way you treat people. No. No. How am I treating you right now? You're a bad now? example of what needs to be done. Am I? What needs to be done? Not like you did. What needs to oh, be done? Oh, you got to hold on. Oh. You're worse than a man. What am I? I'm not gay. Turn around and face the wall. Don't put nothing Turn on me. Turn around and face the wall. Out. It's all right. She doesn't mind them, but she doesn't like me. All right, now you got to go see medical, so come with me. Don't walk behind my sergeant. Right. Sit in that chair right there. Got it. 
I brought her in, and I guess it's a halfway house she was trying to come into, but they said that she was drunk and high and was trying to see her boyfriend that lives there. They told her to leave. She was trespassing. She left. Um, they contacted her up the street with her friend, and she was just going crazy. Turns out she has a warrant, which makes it easy for us that we can bring her down here. So get her off the streets for tonight. Okay. And the warrant is for jaywalking. jaywalking? OK. So. And she's obviously way intoxicated tonight. She is. She doesn't like any of the females, so. <laughs> OK. All right, thank you. Thanks. I'm gonna take your picture so we can get you processed. Open your eyes. Ma'am, go back, stand in the red square where you were. Pick your head up, open your eyes. All right. We'll try you again later. Come on back in here and have a seat. Had she just taken her picture like we asked her, she'd be closer to going through, making her phone calls, getting warmer. She's here for her bench warrant. She's hoping that the judge will give her credit for the time she served before she sees him. She'll be released from custody if that's what happens. And we'll probably see her again because I've seen her frequently here in the jail, so. You never know what's going to happen when people are coming into the jail here. Uh, at times, people are coming in combative, hostile, mad about what's going on on the street. There's other times where there's people that'll come in here very peaceful and everything, but uh, we really never know what we're going to get when we're here in the jail, so we always got to be on our guard and uh, ready to take action. Stand right here on the black mat, face the wall, spread your feet apart. Do you have anything sharp on you or no. anything I need to know about? No. All right. I have money in my bra. Which side? Both. All right. I have about $930. Where's the... Oh, and that's we. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot that was in there. You forgot that was in there? I did, actually. I, I mean, I really would have told you. I mean, you're right here. But I really forgot. Is that where you usually carry it? <laughs> yeah. You forgot you had some today? I, I, I did. I got busted a little bit in the car. Is that why you're here today? Yeah. I was on my way to go buy a laptop. There should be about 9, between 9 and 9.50. We'll figure out exactly how much, but that will not be on your money card when you sign for it, because the officer's going to seize it. OK, come, ma'am, oh, right over here. Uh, Go to the very last seat. What it was was actually she was involved in an accident. The people that were involved in the accident actually called dispatch and said that some other people had shown up at the accident scene and were unloading things from her car oh, wow. into the other car. And then they had left just before I got there. But yeah. what they did is they left one pack of baggies and a little bit of dope in the center console. Okay. But it's packaged for sales. Okay. So there's probably a cause. So she's, right so she's gonna go for that. Well the right. whole car stunk of weed. Right. Because when I walked up the passenger's door is open, the whole car yes. reeks of dope. She reeks of dope. Okay. She says she just smoked dope earlier today. Oh yeah. I, that's why I did the FSTs on her which she failed and then okay. she's got all this cash on her, so she's definitely up to no good. All right, so you're being charged with PCS marijuana with intent for sales and DUI drugs with the accident. Thank you. All right, be careful. The money's impounded, and it's going to be up to the DA's office whether he decides she got it through legal means or not. So what are you going to do from here? It's a very good question, because now I can't get my mer medical marijuana card. OK. Is that something that's really important to you, though, Jada? It, it was. It, yeah. it was up there on my list. OK. Jada. All right, we'll get in here and get your picture Thank taken. You. Head up straight and look up here at the camera. You can go back to your seat for now. All right, Jada. I just need you to go ahead and stand right here for a second. Go ahead and just explain the rules to the room for you. Okay. All right. You're going to be sitting on the right-hand side over here. For everything in here, you just need to raise your hand for water, bathroom, or the telephone. Okay. You seem like a mild-tempered person. Yeah. You'll do just fine in okay. here going through the rest of the process. I just have to reiterate to you, again, okay. the use of marijuana, possession of marijuana, it is illegal. Okay. We're clear on that one, yes. right? Sure. Good. Give me a pound. All right, <laughs> so you. now you know that. Yes. I've done my job with that. Yep. Otherwise, have a seat over here, okay. get through the process, and uh, I wish you the best of luck, OK? You 
What have you been on my life? Hey, Patrick, we're going to take you out of the restraint chair. Yeah, I'll do. Okay. okay, we're going to put you in the back, and then you just go through the process like everybody else, okay? But what if one of them attacks me? We'll be there to help you. That's You're what not going to be there, us beat you. Yes, I'm pretty fast. Okay. Don't look at my toes. Just Hi, Madrid. Quiet. Can you be quiet, please? Nicholas. Oh, oh, oh. All right, I'll shoot you, okay? Oh, oh, oh. There you go. All right. There you go. Turn. What turn. Turn. Oh. Watch you go out here. Okay. okay. Sarge is going to explain the rules one more I don't time. Want to you. Connect to the see in the back. Right here. Yeah. He's weird. I don't want to He's fine. Have a seat right there. Okay. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it out here. He's, no. He likes the center of attention. He likes the attention. Yeah. He's trying to like make fun of everything. So we'll keep an eye on him. We'll keep him out here as long as we can. If not, we'll deal with him. Maybe he might have to go to the side. So, okay? All right. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm going to go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home. I've been thinking about my needs. I don't want to.